Hello my friends, Anthony here, Six Scale Mafia. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Jazz Inc. 1995 Batmobile from the movie Batman Forever. For the third Batman movie following Batman Returns, this Batmobile was originally designed by Barbara Ling and heavily inspired by H.R. Giger, giving the distinct appearance to seem alive with organic styled rib cages and wings. To accentuate the intricate lines of the car, the engine panels, wheels, and undercarriage were indirectly lit so that they appeared to glow blue. The car recalled previous Batmobiles with a split cockpit canopy, separate fenders, and jet exhaust. In another unique design feature, the wheels were made to keep the Bat logos upright when the wheels are turning which as you'll see shortly in the video, Jazz Inc. was able to recreate that feature. Inside the cockpit here, we can see that Yoast has faithfully recreated the rear view monitor here, the system's diagnostics display, and the custom gauge cluster. And by the way, guys, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see here, please go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, share to your friends, come back for more reviews, news, and content. Now, upon unboxing, you will notice here, once plugged in, that these LEDs, the front headlights, are very bright. They are also protected here with this thin layer of plastic here, so make sure you guys go ahead and remove that here. Uh, they might be a little hard to notice at first, but they are there. On top of the hood, you do have that intricate mesh here as well that is kind of showing some of that blue light coming in. I'd have to say one of the most impressive features that um, that I really appreciate here on the vehicle is just actually how bright these lights are um, on this Batmobile. I mean, even in a well-lit environment, this Batmobile is extremely well-lit, and I'll show you a little bit later here in the video with the lights off, how awesome this thing actually looks all lit up here in the dark. Another great thing here that I appreciate is out of the box, there's little to no assembly whatsoever. All you really have to do here is assemble the top uh, fin here, which is separated by these two grooves here that you just want to lock in here. As shown, you want to just make sure you get it in nice and snug. And then you have the left and right fins here in the rear, which also kind of follow the same thing. They don't have any pegs, but you can see that they just kind of lock in here on this arch. You just kind of like slide it right in, press down gently, and and the same thing goes here with the left side. All three of these items come out just as easily as they go in. So if you need to go ahead and like, you know, if you're going to move your Batmobile to another display, we're going to pack up and move, taking these out super easy. Now, this Batmobile being kind of short in its own right is actually quite long here because of that rear fin. This is almost four feet long. So getting it in your case, you know, if you have a garage rack or a Maji case, you may have to angle it a little bit. I had to angle it myself to fit it in. Definitely not a problem. It is as designed, but just keep that in mind that this is actually a larger vehicle than it may appear to be. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the wheels were made to keep the Bat logo upright when the wheels were turning. And as you can see here, as I'm demonstrating, all tires are moving quite easily, might add. And the logo stays in position, having just the rims and the tires moving, as you can see. Now, once again, just the level of detail here that Yost and Jazz Inc. had put into recreating this vehicle is absolutely awesome. As you guys can see here, more of a full frame shot here. I'm going to go ahead and turn some of these lights off just to kind of give you a better idea of how this actually looks all lit up in a pretty dark environment. And as you guys can see here, look how amazing this looks. Now, I know this might not be everybody's favorite Batmobile. Certainly, there's many Batmobiles to choose from. Uh, some people question whether or not Batman Forever is, you know, great film or not. I enjoyed it growing up, you know, during that era and teenage years. But looking at this thing all lit up, looking almost alive here with those ribs, as we mentioned earlier in the video, this thing looks absolutely awesome. And the Bat logo on the wheels just popping here. Included is this magnetic dongle of sorts here that you want to attach on the front side here of the canopy. Simply just lightly pull up with the magnet. It's going to go ahead and bring that canopy forward relatively easily exposing everything underneath here as you can see we'll go ahead and take a deeper look here in just a second but you can see we got the both seats here in the back here with a nice brushed finish additionally we have the floor panels here lit up as well giving us even more light overall should you decide to display yours with the canopy open uh, the lever here is also movable which is a nice touch you know if you want to have it kind of posed slightly different which i appreciate and the center here also being lit as well closing the canopy is just as easy as opening it here as you can see guys but you may need to adjust just a little bit if it doesn't look like it's quite on the track here go ahead and use that magnetic piece again here just to align it and simply go ahead and lock it back into its neutral position now me personally i like to have the canopy open as you guys can see here there's just so much cool intricate details within the cockpit but I feel like having the canopy closed, you're just, you're missing out on, on so much. Now, as you can see, the steering wheel does rotate around. Now, it does not actually function, but it is a nice touch to be able to go ahead and turn that around. Again, you can see everything here in the display, the on-screen here in the front. You got your speedometer. Everything's all lit up. Really nice, really nice detail. Nice paint applications all throughout. Finally, you have the rear rocket engine here. It's a very sturdy design. Really nice brushed uh, metal paint app on it. Very solid, as you can see. 
The only thing I would have preferred maybe is if, you know, if they added the, the rocket effect, the fire effect, if you guys have the 66 Batmobile, you know what I'm talking about. Totally understand that it's not here. Would have been kind of nice to see, but not a deal breaker at all whatsoever. So final thoughts here, as you guys can see, I, this is my display setup here. I have this neon green vinyl flooring. I've also installed some black lights to kind of give you that that Batman Forever vibe that I'm trying to go for here. You know, I have Batman, Robin, uh, Alfred, got a couple more things on the way. Big fan, big fan of 95. Yes, it's cheese, but it's fun. The design of the Batmobile, again, is awesome. Overall, I am thoroughly impressed with this vehicle. Like I said, this is my second favorite outside of 89. But I think Jazz Inc. and Yost, they did a phenomenal job with this piece. I can't wait to see what comes next with the 89. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys pick up a 95? Are you interested? Let me know what you guys think, man. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe. I will see you guys in our next video, man. Take care.